Hello everyone, welcome to this quick presentation on connecting IBM Security Identity Manager to Orange HRM. Orange HRM is, a, uh, is an open source HR management system and in today's exercise we are going to um, feed the employee information from Orange HRM into ISIM. In, in the previous exercise we um, use the CSV file as an HR feed into iSIM using TDI. So today we're going to use the same mechanism that we used before. We're going to use TDI and we are just going to change our input from the CSV to uh, Orange HRM which is uh, basically a, a MySQL database backend. So I've gone ahead and uh, cleaned the uh, user information in ISIM, so we don't have anybody, uh, we don't have any person records in ISIM now, and we're going to get all these employee in records from Orange HRM and push them all into ISIM. So the first thing we, we need to do with our TDI project is to add a uh, JDBC connector to our uh, MySQL backend. I'm going to put it in the iterator mode. Type in our the JDBC URL. So this JDBC URL, this is uh, this is basically the connection string that points to the uh, MySQL database. And then we'll put in the JDBC driver. Username, password. Table name we're going to leave blank. We're not going to use a table name. We're going to use a SQL query which I have prepared. So this is uh, a query that will pull in the the information that we want from the Orange HRM database. So the basic stuff, employee ID, first name, last name, telephone number. I'm calculating the UID and CN as well. And for, P, uh, for the person status, I'm always using zero, which is active. So this means everybody in uh, Orange HRM will become active uh, uh, we'll have an active person record in ISIM. So this is just for uh, the sake of simplicity in this demonstration. In actual practice, you're going to want to change this to, to use a uh, an equivalent uh, employee status in the HR system. Or if there's a termination date attribute, you could use that to determine the status of the person in ISIM. So copy that, paste, finish, and we'll do a test connection. All right. And then we go ahead and drag all of these columns into our work entry. Then do a. Uh, we'll change the attribute names in the uh, work entry to match the. At LDAP attribute names in, in ISIM. So telephone number. This is going to be employee number. All right. We also need to add the uh, object class and the dollar DN attributes. So we can grab those from the uh, from our previous ex um, exercise, the CSV connector, so object class, dollar DN, and then we can go ahead and disable the file connector because we're not going to need that. 
for the JN JDBC connector we'll make a minor adjustment in the dollar at the end we don't have a username um, attribute we have UID and just like we did before we'll limit the the first run to one record so I think we're ready to run it go ahead and run it we got one record let's take a look in ISIM and there's our person so now let's go ahead and remove that limit and run and it's pulling in all the records from from the uh, MySQL database and we should see our all our person records coming into ISIM. And now we have connected ISIM to Orange HRM. Thank you for watching.